People don't know the history of Maipal. Maipal. Just feed the PPP whatever information they need to undermine the PNC. The nature of the questioning. Uh, Jack Deo seemed to be concerned about that and whether the line of questioning had anything to do with the Mohammeds, Azardine Mohammed and so forth, uh, because serious allegations have been leveled against the Mohammeds. So I decided to bring some stuff here for you guys, so at least you can last your little time, kill the wildfire ease, you know? When I break the story about the man with the blank check, I says, my pal. <laughs> Sometimes I forget these things, but sometimes I got attack, let people know that yeah, there may no sin. Very, very serious allegations, guys. And um, and if you recall the Reuters special report, the U.S. probing Exxon contractor in Guyana, the Mohammed, uh, the father and the son. Every year during the holy month of Ramadan, the Mohammed ensure that the children of the Shahid boys and girls orphanage are taken on a shopping spree. This year is no different as 50 boys and girls were recently given an amount of money to purchase personal items at the Giflin Mall. Ganesh my Paul is dirty and vile. Ganesh my Paul would collect, commit sexual acts with people, forget the position. Yes. Yeah. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Show on villagers of Santa Arata. Yeah. Well, I know you You guys have been battling this wildfire for some time now because I came in here a little while back. So um, I decided to come in here today because I know it limits your, mo your mobility in and out of the creek with the, with the fire, the wildfire. So I decided to bring some stuff here for you guys so at least you can last your little time till the wildfire is, you know? And I must thank the firefighters um, for the job that they're doing so far. So when you think you're worse, they got people more worse off than you. Like for example, we have the genocide in, in Palestine. We had an earthquake the other day in um, Taiwan. So this too shall pass. So just stand united and stand strong. Team Mohanes hosts over 100 GT children at Sura's Brothers Circus. Over 100 children from across Georgetown had a rollicking time on Thursday evening at the Sura's Brothers Circus under the kind patronage of Mr. Mohammed. The children between the ages of 4 and 12 were transported from their respective communities to the venue and were safely taken back home under proper supervision by members of Team Mohanes and several parents. The faces of the children were lit up with excitement as they witnessed the various performances by members of the circus. It was definitely a night to remember. They were also treated to snacks and meals that were personally purchased by the businessman, who took time out of his busy schedule to accompany the children. He made sure that every child was taken care of and credited popular comedian Odessa Primus for her role in selecting the children and ensuring that they had a grand time. He also thanked his staff for their support. It is an overwhelming feeling to see smiles on the faces of children, and it gives me a sense of satisfaction and pride to bring joy and happiness to our future leaders, Mr. Mohammed stating. Come now. I think you will come around. Well, I am helicopter. Where's the plane? Where's the plane? Playing at the airstrip. This is okay. Yeah, man. No, this one. But I think, but I think, and come around with the airplane. Yeah, plane. Do you see where the comedy airplane? Nice clean up, nice man. Um, Mr. Mohammed. Like, we never got words to tell you how excited. How happy I am! Like, I can't even explain. It's like I can't even believe this is real. I can't, I can't, I can't even believe that. You know, like I tell my sister, them, you yeah, pinched me last year for dreaming. You know, Mr. Mommy, like, I want to thank you so I'm much. So, and I'm like, I'm God like, continue to wish me bless like, you. I protect I'm you from all harm. 
when you and when God and continue to see you prosper with the good that you're doing out here and for so many people. I know. I thank you because I could say well we got we own now. You know? So, thank you so much. It means even worse, Dayton. Go, 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 the Mohammed continue annual tradition by treating 50 orphans to shopping spree. Every year during the holy month of Ramadan, the Mohammed ensure that the children of the Shahid boys and girls orphanage are taken on a shopping spree. This year is no different as 50 boys and girls were recently given an amount of money to purchase personal items at the Giflin Mall. With smiles on their faces, each child strutted through the aisles to look for items of their tastes and preference. They were transported to and from the mall under the supervision of five caregivers who were also treating. Mr. Mohammed expressed his sincerest gratitude to the caregivers who sacrificed their time to take care of the children day in and day out. He believes that orphans have the right to be taken care of, hence his family's commitment to do so. The best house among the Muslims is the house in which orphans are well treated. The worst house among the Muslims is the house in which orphans are ill-treated. People are indeed calling on it to stop their serious allegations leveled against senior members of the Guyana Police Force. One such person is Mr. Caesar, Mitchell Caesar. He has been questioned by U.S. Law Enforcement Agency uh, recently, and uh, people are asking what's the nature of the questioning. Uh, Jack Deere seemed to be concerned about that and whether the line of questioning had anything to do with the Mohammeds, Azardine Mohammed and so forth, uh, because serious allegations have been leveled against the Mohammeds. Very, very serious allegations, guys. And, um, and if you recall the Reuters special report, US probing Exxon contractor in Guyana, the Mohammed, uh, the father and the son, the father celebrated his birthday yesterday, I believe. Yeah. It says U.S. probing Exxon contracted. They're no longer affiliated with Exxon. Um, and this, according to Reuters report, they are being probed, investigated for smuggling drugs, gold, money laundering, and so forth. That is according to Reuters report. Uh, according to other sources that the Mohammeds have been, according to sources, mind you, allegedly, after investigation sorry they have been indicted allegations that they have been indicted by a u.s law enforcement agency a particular u.s law enforcement agency and i'm not sure whether any request was made for them to be extradited to the united states of america and i say all of this to say that we don't know whether uh caesar mitchell caesar a senior member of the Guyana police force was questioned or was pulled in for fitness as a result of Azardin Mohammed. We do not know. As a result of alleged connection to Azardin Mohammed and uh, allegations that Caesar and his crew rushed to cover up allegations again, and these allegations were made by uh, Detective Sergeant Bascom that there was a cover-up in the murder of paper shorts. We don't know what's the line of questioning, but the senior cop Caesar needs to answer some serious questions. And I agree with uh, Wayne Caesar that when you have allegations, serious allegations level against senior cops, it demoralizes the entire police force and citizens lose trust and confidence in the police. And for the most part, that is how citizens are feeling right now. Do you see this getting any better, the police force that is, Mr. Caesar? Yes, Mark, I do foresee the police force getting better under a new government. Um, there's no chance that the police force could get better under this regime. People can talk. In life, people are always going to talk. So you just do what you got to do. Ain't let it talk as them talk, buddy. You do the things that you know you're capable of doing. You do your best. 
and you be your best at what it is that you do. Because guess what? Whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to get naysayers and you're going to get those that support you. You're going to hear a million trillion allegations coming from the left and allegations coming from the right. Some might stick, some might not. But guess what? Your actions will define you. Your actions will speak for you. And we could see that there's many acts of public kindness, 100% guilty. There's frequent charity, 100% guilty. Everything else is allegation. Self-appreciation, because a man must appreciate himself. If he appreciates helping the public so much, 100 times guilty for self-appreciation. Why? So many people that you would have appreciated in the public. Acts of love for humanity. Guilty. Not account. Publicly. Red-handed. Look how many things. Look how many times. Look how many different occasions. So many that we forget. But then there's all of these allegations. But guess what? People can talk. And we're not for one side. We're not for other side. We're calling it as a spade. We're calling what we see. A man's deeds. A man's deeds will live after him. And when you squeeze an orange... We inside of the oranges come out. Right? So, you get a chance to see the capabilities of a person when they are under pressure. So, if you're under pressure, a man is turning to giving charity and a man is turning to doing the things that we would call great acts of love than what was inside of that individual all along. I'm not picking any sides. We're calling a spade a spade. Everyone have great allegations against them. Even Jesus. But a man's deeds will live after him. Now we see Ganesh being accused again by the same person. This time of something else that he said he remembered today. He didn't remember the last time. He's saying, look. You used to be, we spy from back in the days. You as we go to man when we want information to make sure we could continue to infiltrate and undermine anything we're going on in the same party that you in and running to be ahead of this party right now. That don't make sense. But Louis here we're going on. And Louis here, the other side of these allegations against the honorable Ganesh Mahipal because a critic is saying he used to be a PPP spy and we can hear that directly from the critic right now if you haven't already hit the like button boost this video in the algorithm thanks I appreciate it and I'll catch you in the next flight people don't know the history of Mahipal Mahipal just feed the PPP whatever information they need to undermine the PNC. Exactly. You understand? So people don't know them people. There's a lot going on in politics that people don't know about. When I break the story about the man with the blank check, I says, my pal. <laughs> sometimes I forget these things, but sometimes you got to talk, let people know that yeah, them yeah, in yeah. no saying. <laughs> like the other day I see the boy, he there, he is the man there behind the thing attacking and all the, the different um, committees and so for the Bellevue project, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And now I just sit down and get caught, you know, because remember everybody, me his friend. I was terrible and everybody said, but I don't trust my pal. I would say, man, relax yourself. Yes, yeah, sir. The man thing, bring you up for my program one, one time, big you up. You understand? But certain people cannot trust. I like Ford is mad and deliberate in his thing. He's a lawyer. He's maddened by PNC ideology. Yeah, but you yeah, can't yeah, yeah. get, here I tell you, you can't get Ford himself. There was a recording that was released 
when Ford and Mike Paul was talking to the, the secretary, right? The party secretary, the man who write all the, the checks them and give not the thought to. And Ford was trying to get clarity to make sure that it was precise this was what was going on. Although Ford might be a fool to some extent. You understand? To, to yeah, yeah, use yeah, yeah. his knowledge and everything to be a part of the PNC, he's not a deceiving and conniving person. You understand? That is not indicative of black attitude. They could be ignorant, they could be angered easily and, and blot out things that they make sense. They are de- Ford is no fool. He is he, he, deliberate in what he's doing. Um, nothing is wrong with wanting to vie for a position. It's not. But the methodology used like Ford using Ganesh to do what he wants yeah, because yeah. Ford ain't got the ability. Exactly. He ain't got the audacity. He ain't got the qualities of the tech. He's not a devious, conniving person. Ganesh, my Paul, is dirty and vile. Ganesh, my Paul, would collect, commit sexual acts with people, forget the position. Yes. You understand? I want to order bandit one by what they wrong, what they wrong with them over was the the city the the mayor. Now bandit down next cross. Like PNC get all this cross in them mind. Here, they try. What happens too many times? When this thing started, it started with the PPP civic. I don't know if you know the history of the the extension of the C on the PPP and the extension of the R on the PNC. So it is the PPP civic. And the civic was to create a black adjoining aspect to the PPP that will start watering down the fact that the PPP was predominantly an Indian party. Yeah. Immediately after that idea was conceptualized and delivered to the people, the PNC created the re- PNC reform. That right. now was to adjoin an Indian aspect to the PNC to suggest that it was not predominantly a black party. What happened, what ensued after that is that, and it started as a game for sure, but the PPP came to learn that blacks were very resourceful and credible and people that you could rely on. So all the black Sam Hines and everybody else does why the PNCs call them house slave. They come and they honestly, genuinely put in what is requested of them. They give, like if you look at Mark Phillips, you talk to the Prime Minister Mark Phillips. He's the civic aspect of the PPP and he became the Prime Minister. But if you speak to Mark Phillips, you'd realize he has no character to attack. He's an upstanding man, good wife, good family. He's done well for himself. You understand? Nothing bad could be said of him. And in the execution of his duties, he has delivered like any genuine black man would do. No. So the PPP now get caught. Initially, when they start with civic was for show, well, here, McGowan black friend, right? Then they get caught that black people generally could bring things and build the PPP. So bam, they start coming. You get the Kwamis. You get people who really contribute in. You understand? Who genuinely are contributing and who you generally could trust. The PNC on the other hand, because of Indian attitude, because of this genetic trait and devious and conniving ways of some of the Indians, not all of them, you understand? You remember? It's too air. We got a natural way to stay ready, baby. Cause I'm ready for you, Mr. C. My information is, and listen to me carefully, I know y'all record that these killings from the dready and the attempt on um the, the, the attempt two attempts. Uh, you had on two different persons on this one last night. My information is that they are all related.